Hi guys, welcome to Science Jump. Today is going to be projectile motion, but part two. Uh, watch the other uh, video on part one. I go over the basics here, but pretty much it's very similar to equations of motion. Everything looks more or less uh, pretty much the same. Got a few new things here like VYF, delta Y. So this is displacement in the vertical. This is displacement in the horizontal. Uh, AY is minus G, which is 9.8 meters per second. And again, you need to know uh, Pythagoras theorem. You need to know Sokotoa. You need to know what this kind of means before we tackle this super difficult question. So it says here, we're doing this question. I've done this one in the previous video. Um, and it says, a rock is thrown from a 50 meter high cliff with an initial velocity of seven meters per second at an angle of 53 degrees above the horizontal. Find the velocity before it hits the ground and calculate the flight time. So you've got two parts to it, but within those two parts, there's more parts. And you'll see in a second exactly what I mean. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw out the situation. So you have a 50 meter high cliff. Leave that over here. So this is 50 meters. This is my delta Y. And a rock is thrown. So you've got a rock over here and it's thrown like that. And uh, this is seven meters per second. This is uh, VI. And it is 53 degrees above the horizontal like so. Okay. Now the reason why this is a little bit tricky is because it is above the ground. So effectively what's going to happen is it's going to go like that. Okay. And it's, it's raised. So it does complicate things a little bit, but anyway, find the velocity before it hits the ground. One fundamental thing that we need to know here is that the, um, the velocity at the very top, here, the y velocity is zero. And the reason for that is because uh, at the very peak, it basically stops going up and it starts to go down. So it basically goes, you stops, it starts to go down. So it's zero at the very top. And that's super important. Okay, cal calculate the height. Now I've already got a 50 here, but we can calculate like this bit separately like that bit. So we, we're going to try and find that height over here. Okay. And just like before, we have our equation. And our equation is uh, vi sine theta squared divided by 2g. So vi is 7 times sine 53 squared divided by 2g. Uh, that's 9.8, by the way. Okay, so 7 times sine 53 equals that. Square that. Divided by 2 times 9.8. Close that bracket. And that is uh, 1.59 meters. Okay. Now what we then need to do, so this is 1.59 meters. And you can see the total height is uh, 50 plus 1.59, which is going to be 51.59 meters. Now, this isn't the end of our question, because what we've got to do is find the velocity before it hits the ground. OK, so we're only just beginning. Again, let's uh, figure out what we've got to do. So we want to work out. VYF. So VYF is question mark. Okay. Uh, VYI at the very top is going to be zero. Okay. Um, we don't know the time, and uh, we we know uh, we know G. So let's see if we can get an equation out here here. So we want to work out VYF. So we can't use that one because we don't have the time. Can't use this one because we don't have the time. We could use this one, VYF squared, because we want to find out this. Um, we, we know this is zero, so we can cancel that out. 
Right, we got G, we got delta Y, perfect. Now, because uh, VYI is zero, cancel it out. We've got VYF squared is equal to um, minus 2G delta Y. Let's uh, work out what 2G delta Y is. So minus two times 9.8 times delta Y is 51.59, okay? Let's get your calculator out. So uh, minus two times 9.8 times 51.59 is equal to minus 1011.164. Now this is for VYF squared. So what you've got to do is you've got to square root this. So VYF is equal to the square root of, you might want to take off that minus, it might make things a little bit weird. So if I do that, uh, I get a math error on this particular calculator. So I'm going to just take off that minus. So I end up with 1011.164 uh, and I get 31.8 7988, but you round it up, 31.8 meters per second. Now, this is not the final answer, because this is just for the y direction. Basically, we've got a situation where we've got 31.8 meters per second downwards, but we've also got VX, which I haven't even worked out yet. So I'm going to work out VX over here. Now VX is equal to uh, VI cosine theta. So what's VI again? It's 7 times cosine 53. 7 times cosine 53 which is 4.2, um, 4.21 meters per second. Okay, now we've got a um, Pythagoras situation here, haven't we? So essentially we've got, that is 31.8, and we've got like this, 4.2, and we want to work out basically the, uh, this is your resultant like that. Okay, so we've got to work that out using Pythagoras. So let's get a new piece of paper. So I've got 31.8 meters per second. This is my uh, VYF. I have 4.2 meters per second. Now, if you remember anything about adding vectors together, you always put them head to tail. So technically, I can just add it over here like so. This is your 4.2, oh, like this. And then my resultant is going to be like that. I haven't used a straight line, but okay, you get the idea. So how do we work this out? Well, um, a squared plus b squared equals r squared. So r is the square root of a squared plus b squared. Um, any one of them could be a, doesn't matter, so I'm gonna put 31.8, and therefore that means that was 4.2 over here. Remember, you have to square these, is equal to 1028.88. Square root the answer, and it's 32.8. 0.8 meters per second. Okay, so that's this line over here. This line is 32.08 meters per second. Now, because it's a velocity, it's a vector, and it needs a direction. So you actually have to work out this angle here. And uh, what do we have? Well, we've got the... Um, so this is the hypotenuse we just worked out. Uh, this one is going to be the adjacent, oh. and this one's the opposite. 
And since there could theoretically be an error here, we have to use O and A. So on your Soka Toa, O and A is tan. So let's figure out what that means. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Okay. So if you're to work out theta, it's going to be tan minus one, that's tangent minus one, opposite over adjacent. Let's put the numbers in. So theta is tan minus one opposite 4.2 divided by 31.8. Theta is 2.40 degrees. Now bear in mind this angle is um, this angle over here. You could also work out this angle over here if you wanted to and it will give you a slightly different thing. So it's always important to have an angle showing exactly what you have done. Okay. Um, and there we are. So that's the first bit of the question. Uh, we have figured out the 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 final velocity just before it hits the ground and uh, now all we've got to do is work out the flight time now bear in mind we have this situation so the time of flight what we could do is split it up and that's exactly what I'm going to do so I'm going to split split it up into two things so my first point is over here and then I'm going to treat this bit over here as a separate like problem and then I'm just going to add the two bits together. So my idea here is I, I've got to work out what VYF, VYF is over here and that will basically turn into my VYI for the next bit and uh, take it from there. In fact the first thing we're going to do we're going to work out the time of flight for this because that's fairly easy. 2 VI sine theta divided by G. So let's get our uh, VI sine theta, so VI, uh, 7 meters per second, times sine 53, divided by 9.8, which is 1.14 seconds. So that's our, our time for that bit. Okay, just to do that is 1.14 seconds. Now I've got to work out this and we'll work out this VYF part first and then we'll go from there. So what do we know? VYF we don't know. That's a question mark. Um, VYI we don't know but we can work it out because we've got VI sine theta which gives us that so let's work with that uh, we know that delta y 1.59 meters okay so let's work out this vyf so we want something with this and we have, have g as well so let's get our equation out so which equation can we use uh, we don't have a time not yet anyway because uh, you've got to work out that VYF first. Um, looks like we're going to use this one. Okay, so VYF squared equals VYI squared minus 2G delta Y. Okay. Um, okay, so VYI squared uh, is VI sine theta squared minus 2 times 9.8 times 1.59 okay gonna be fairly small number um, so VI sine theta was 7 times sine 53 squared minus uh, all of that 31.164 Let's work this out. 31.25 uh, minus 31.164, 0 0.089. Okay, but that's for the VYF squared. So VYF is a square root of that. 
which is 0 0.298, which is basically 0 0.3 meters per second. Okay, so uh, let's figure out what we have um, from our thing. So we've got that, which is 0 0.3 meters per second. We'll just work that out. Um, we know that uh, time, because we just worked it out. Uh, that's 1.14 seconds. So to get from there to there. And now we've got to work out this. Now this VYF becomes VYI. And that's a crucial bit um, to work out what that's going to be. But we do know what the VYF down here is. Because the VYF down there, we actually worked it out uh, a little bit earlier. So uh, where was that? That was that was this uh, thirty one point eight meters per second. So let's uh, get a new bit of paper. Let's write it all out uh, again. We know uh, first of all the new VYI is zero point three meters per second. We know that VYF. We worked it out. That's 31.8 meters per second. We don't know what T is. Uh, G is 9.8. And uh, delta Y is 50 meters. Okay, that is 50 meters. Okay, so we, we just need to work out the time. Okay, so let's have a look at what equation we could use probably quite a few of them to be honest. Okay, so if you want to work out the time, we got this one, we got this one. And uh, either one, that one doesn't have a square, so let's use that one. So that one was 31.8 is equal to 0.3 minus 9.8 T, like that. So you uh, divide this by 0.3, 31.8 divided by 0 0.3 um, and then equals minus 9.8 T. Let's work this bit out. So 31.8 minus 0 0.3 is uh, 31 point, um, I did minus 31.8 divided by 0 0.3 is 106 is equal to minus 9.8 T. Divide both sides by minus 9.8. So divided by uh, minus 9.8, which is um, minus 10.8. So T, let's just call it 10.8 because you can't have a minus thing. 10.8 seconds. Okay, so that's going to be that, that final bit. So where's my diagram? Over here. So this falling from here to here is 10.8 seconds. So all you've just got to add up is 10.8 plus 1.14. So total time. 10.8 uh, seconds plus 1.14 uh, seconds which is 11.94 seconds. And that's it. Uh, fairly complicated, that question, but uh, as you can see, just take it step by step and you can hopefully work it all out. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And um, you can now uh, donate, so please do so if you have the time, but if you can't, no big deal, just like and subscribe and share. Thank you very much, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>